WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag. The mix goes like this. you got the Dow up 171 points. The S&P's up 9. NASDAQ 100 down 25. Russell's up 21. Semis are basically flat. They're up 2 points. Trend is up 19. Gold's trading up 8 bucks. Silver 52 cents. That's a 2 and 3 percent. Three, two and three tenth percent move to the upside. Light to crude up a buck eleven. Natural gas is flat. Thirty-year Treasury printed out one eighteen oh three or one eighteen thirty. That's up thirteen ticks. Let's take a look at what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES mini. We know it's got a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Price consolidating with inside its profiles. The profile levels run from 49.39 as support up to 50.52 as resistance. If we take a look at the spot volatilix, it is still above its 50 day exponential moving average. The 50 day is 13.69. The spot is at 14.38. That says surprises. We'll see rug pulls for the SP 500 to the downside. If we take a look at the NQ, it's traded right up into the top of its profile. That's where the sellers are located, and that's at the 17. 924 level no top just to consolidate with inside his profile and support by the way is at 17531 US dollar index uh, ran into resistance at the bottom of that weekly profile there's a new daily profile that is attempting to form prices back inside it it being 10442 and if it closes below 10442 we could see a run back to 10396 or 10366 out there now it's not really a very wide profile. We've seen a bit of a move here in uh, Goldilocks. The danger with regard to the uh, profile in gold is that it is forming above the top of price out there. We'll take a look at that during the Trader's Edge show. If you take a look at silver, just a consolidation with inside its profiles running from 2237 up to 2321. There is an A to B equal CD down pattern. That is still in play out there. That could get us an initial price projection of 2134. Lights were cooled yesterday, finding resistance. By, by the way, we We've rolled over into the April contract out here. So we do have new profiles for you. Resistance up at 78.43. That's what price hit yesterday. The buy zone for support is between 73.90, uh, 73.15 and 73.81. Natural gas still needs at least a bullish reversal candle to give us some kind of hope that there could be a bottom. And the 30-year treasury, much like gold, has formed a new profile above price. That's basically a bearish message because it tells us about overhead supply. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show if you would, but if you're off to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.